Hello there, welcome to CXC Math TV. Today we will be looking at Factor Theorem. So I know you're wondering what is this Factor Theorem. Now before we can look at Factor Theorem, I want you to consider this function f of x equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. Find the roots of the function of f of x. Now from CSEC math days, we know that roots, these are the values of x when the function is equal to 0. Or some people may call it x-intercepts. So finding the roots of f of x, we know we're supposed to solve f of x equal to 0. Now using the quadratic formula to solve x squared minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0, the coefficient of x squared a is 1, the coefficient of x is minus 7, and the constant is 10. So using the quadratic formula, x equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. We put our values in for a, b, and c. And so x is negative of negative 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 7 square minus 4 times 1 times 10 divided by 2 times 1. That simplifies to be x is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of 49 minus 40 over 2. 49 minus 40 is 9. So that becomes 7 plus or minus the square root of 9 over 2, which is 7 plus or minus 3 over 2. Now the 7 plus 3 over 2 is 5, or x equals 7 minus 3 over 2, which we know is 2. So the two roots are x equals 5 or x equals 2. Now we don't want to focus too much on that, but if you wanted to do it by factorization, you'd have to ask yourself, which two numbers when I times them I get 10, but when I add them I get negative 7. So we know that those two numbers would be minus 2x and minus 5x, because negative 2 times negative 5 that's how we get positive 10 so we can split the minus 7x as x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 10 and then from that now we can factor out x and so we have x times x minus 2 then we can factor out a negative 5 times x minus 2 then we factor out x minus 2 and so we have x minus 2 times x minus 5 so we can conclude that x squared minus 7x plus 10 is x minus 2 times x minus 5. And so x squared minus 7x plus 10 equal to 0. That will still lead to us solving either x minus 2 equal to 0 or x minus 5 equal to 0. And so x equal 2 or x equal 5. Now if you were to plot the graph of this quadratic function right here. When x is negative 2, the y value is 28. When x is negative 1, the y value is 18. When x is 0, we input 0 into the function, the y value is 10. When x is 1, the y value is 4. When x is 2, the y value is 0. When x is 3, the y value is negative 2. When x is 4, the y value is negative 2. When x is 5, the y value is 6. If you plot those points, then the graph will look somewhat looking like this right here because it's a quadratic graph. And then the roots of the quadratic are at 2 and 5 when y is 0. Okay, now what is this factor theorem? Alright, so we're just going to pause this what we did right here and go to factor theorem. Now factor theorem, it says let f of x be the polynomial function and let a be the root of f of x. It's a is if a is a root of f of x, then x minus a is a factor of f of x, and f of a is equal to 0. Now, let's go back to the original function, f of x being x squared minus 7x plus 10. Those have roots 2 and 5. Now, using the factor theorem, it says then x minus a is a factor. So, in this case, x minus a, the first root is 2, so x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. And x minus 5 is a factor of f of x. Also from factor theorem, we know that f of a is equal to 0. So that means f of 2 equals 0 and f of 5 equals 0. And of course that is true. If we go back to our graph, f of 2 was 0 and f of 5 was 0. That's all factor theorem is stating. So let's look at an example. Alright, let's look at an example and see how we're going to utilize this factor theorem. Now let f of x, so let's have a look at this question here. Question 1, 
It says given that x plus 4 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus kx plus 12, find the value of k. Now, from factor theorem, we know that if x plus 4 is a factor, we, can, we, we need to rewrite it in a form that we can apply the factor theorem. Now, factor theorem tell us that if, x, if a is a root of f of x, then x minus a is a factor. And then f of a is 0. So if we have x plus 4, we need it in the form x minus a. So we're going to break it up as x minus minus 4 is a factor of the function. So let's call that function f of x, 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus kx plus 12. And so the x value we're going to input is negative 4. That's our a. So f of negative 4 is 2 times negative 4 cubed plus 15 times negative 4 squared plus k times negative 4 plus 12. And that is equal to 0 by factor theorem f of a 0. So using our calculator that works out to give us negative 128 plus 240 minus 4k plus 12 is 0. And so 4k is 124. And so if we divide through by 4, k equal 124 over 4, which is 31. So hence, k equal 31. So go ahead and pause the video and attempt this question. Given that x minus 3 is a factor of, of 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 32x plus r, find the value of r. So as you pause and attempt, we know that if x minus 3 is a factor of f of x, then f of 3 is 0. So we can input in x as 3 to get 2 times 3 cubed plus 3 times 3 squared minus 32 times 3 plus r is 0. So that's 54 plus 27 minus 96 plus r equals 0. That simplifies to be negative 15 plus r equals 0. And so hence r equal to 15. Easy. Nice. Now, the next topic is to look at is polynomial division. So you're probably wondering what is this polynomial division in terms of factor theorem. Now, first thing we have to do is review long division before we can do polynomial division. So let's say you were asked to divide 175 by 5. We know that 5 into 1, that can happen, so that will put a 0 in the quotient. Then we know that 5 times 0 is 0. So we subtract 1 minus 0 is 1. Then we bring down the 7. 5 into 17 goes 3 times. 5 times 3 is 15. Then we subtract. 17 minus 15 is 2. We bring down the 5. 5 into 25 goes 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Then we subtract and we get 0. So 175 divided by 5 is 35. Now just to refresh our memory, the rules of long division, remember, is divide, multiply, take away, bring down. That is the rule. Step 1, we divide, then we multiply, then we subtract, then we bring down. Now, just some terms that we use in long division. The 175 is known as the dividend. The 5 is known as the divisor. And the 35 is known as the quotient. Now, did you notice anything? Now, what we should have noticed is that 5 is a factor of 175. Since when we divide it, we get no remainder. The quotient 35 is also a factor of 175. Now also observe that the quotient, when you multiply it by the divisor, that is equal to the dividend. So 35 times 5 gives us back 175. So now we're going to apply that to factor theorem. So now, when we divide a function f of x by a factor of x minus a, with the quotient equal to q, then f of x divided by x minus a is equal to q. So that implies that f of x equal to q times x minus a. What? Let f of x equal to x squared minus 7x plus 10. Now we know that x equal 2 is a root from earlier. And so x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. If we divide x squared minus 7x plus 10 by x minus 2, we say x into x squared goes x times x times x is x squared, then x times minus 2 is minus 2x, and we subtract minus 7x minus minus 2x, that becomes minus 5x, then we bring down the 10, then we have x into minus 5x goes minus 5, 
x times minus 5 is minus 5x, minus 5 times minus 2 is plus 10, then we subtract. Notice that the remainder is 0, that's because x minus 2 is a factor of f of x. So what are we saying? When we have f of x divided by x minus a equal q, in this case our f of x is x squared minus 7x plus 10, we divided it by x minus 2. Notice that we got it equal to x minus 5, which is our quotient. So if we cross multiply, we we'll see that x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to x minus 2 times x minus 5, applying factor theorem. Applying that polynomial division to factor theorem, this is what we get. So now, how are we going to utilize this polynomial division to help us with factor theorem solve questions? Let's look at an example. Given that f of x equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, find the factors of f of x. Now step 1. Step 1 is to find a root of f of x using trial and error. So what we're going to do is look at the constant 6. I'm going to try numbers that are factors of 6. I love to start with x being 1, so let's try 1. 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared minus 5 times 1 plus 6. That works out to be 1 minus 2 minus 5 plus 6, which is 0. Very good. So x is equal to 1 is a root. And so f of 1 equal to 0 by factor theorem. And so x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. Now, knowing what we did a while ago, we said that whenever we divide a function by a factor, we're going to get a quotient and the remainder is 0. So we're going to divide our function, divide the polynomial function by a factor, given that we know that we're going to get a remainder of 0. So we divide x cubed minus 2x minus 5x plus 6 by x minus 1. x into x cubed goes x squared x squared times x is x cubed. Now we'll multiply the x squared times negative 1 to get minus x squared and we subtract. Negative 2x squared minus negative x squared that leave minus x squared. They will bring down the minus 5x. x into minus x squared leaves minus x. Minus x times minus x is minus x squared. Then minus x times minus 1 is plus x. Then we we'll subtract. Minus 5x minus x, that's minus 6x plus 6. Then we say x into minus 6x, that goes minus 6. Then minus 6 times x minus 1 is minus 6x plus 6. Then we subtract, and the remainder is 0. Now remember what we said earlier. We said step 3 now, f of x, when we divide it by our divisor, give us the quotient. And so x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 over x minus 1 equal to x squared minus x minus 6. So if we cross multiply, that means f of x, which is x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6, is equal to x minus 1 times x squared minus x minus 6. Now by factorizing, f of x will become x minus 1 times x squared minus x minus 6. But we can split the middle term, that minus x, we can write it as minus 3x plus 2x. And then we can factor out a x to have x minus 1 times in bracket x in bracket x minus 3 plus 2 in bracket x minus 3. So f of x works out to be x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. And so we can conclude the factors of f of x are x minus 1, x plus 2, and x minus 3. Easy. Soft. Alright. So now go ahead and pause the video and attempt this question. Given that f, f of x is 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 31x plus 12, find all the factors of f of x, then hence find all the roots. Now if you're going to be trying this question, the first one is step 1. Remember you find a root of f of x using trial and error. So always try factors that are numbers or you know, factors of the constant. So if you try x equal to 1, you're going to input 1 into the equation or realize x equal 1 is not going to give us 0. And so x equal 1 is not a root. So we're going to try x equal to negative 4. So 2 times negative 4 cubed plus 15 times negative 4 squared plus 31 times negative 4 plus 12 is 0. 
So x equal negative 4 is a root of f of x. And so x minus in bracket minus 4 is a factor. And so that is the same as saying x plus 4 is a factor. Now once we get x plus 4 is a factor, step 2 is to use polynomial division by dividing the function by a factor. That is step 2. So we're going to divide the function f of x, the 2x cubed, plus 15x squared, plus 31x plus 12. We're going to divide it by x plus 4. Now x into 2x cubed goes 2x squared. 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. 2x squared times 4 is 8x. Then we subtract. We have 7x squared plus 31x. x into 7x 7, 7 squared goes 7x times. 7x times x is 7x squared plus 28x. We subtract, we get 3. We subtract, we get 3x, and then we bring down the 12. x into 3x goes plus 3. 3 times 3x plus 4 is 3x plus 12. Then we subtract, and we get 0. Hey. So now step 3, f of x over the divisor is the quotient. And so 2x cubed plus 15x squared plus 31x plus 12 over x plus 4 is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 times x plus 4. By factorizing, we're going to have f of x is x plus 4 times 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. We can break up that 7x as 6x plus x. And then we can factor out 2x from the first two terms to get f of x is now x plus 4 times in bracket 2x in bracket x plus 3. Plus we can factor out 1 from the x plus 3 to have times x plus 3. So f of x works out to be x plus 4 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. So the factors of f of x are x plus 4, 2x plus 1, and x plus 3. Nice. Now once you find all the factors, the question said find all the roots. So to find all the roots, we know we solve f of x equal to 0. Solving f of x equal to 0. We're going to be solving x plus 4 times 2x plus 1 times x plus 3 equals 0. So that means it's either x plus 4 equals 0 or 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x plus 3 equals 0. If x plus 4 equals 0, then x equals to negative 4. Or 2x plus 1 equals 0, then x equals to negative half. Or x equals negative 3. So therefore, the roots of f of x are x equal to negative 4 x equal to negative half and x equal to negative three so if there's any takeaway from this video you must remember factor theorem states if f of x is a polynomial function let a be a root of f of x if a is a root of f of x then x minus a is a factor of f of x and f of a equal to zero now when do we use factor theorem we use factor theorem when we need to find factors of a function, we need to find the roots of a polynomial function, or when we need to find unknown values in a function given a factor. And so that's it from CXC Math TV. Stay tuned for more and make sure to have a blessed day.